Hello everyone, welcome to Scales Life and today I will be doing a really short tutorial on how to draw or paint actually fish scales. So today I'm working on the surprise artwork. So I guess not much of a surprise after this but uh, this is some of the artwork I'm doing for the OCA which is the Ohio Cichlid Association and it's just going to be for the extravaganza, the 2019 extravaganza which is held in Ohio every year in November. So what I have here today is I have a red tail catfish which uh, you know it doesn't have scales. It's one of the largest catfish in the world. It is found in South America and it can get over five feet in length and uh, upwards of 140 pounds. Uh, above it is what we're going to be focusing on today. This is a dovii cichlid or uh, often called the wolf cichlid. It is Parachromis dovii. Uh, this cichlid is uh, outside of the peacock bass, which is the genus Cichla. Uh, this is one of the largest cichlids in the world, and it is found in Central America around Nicaragua. Uh, it can get about three feet in length, close to three feet in length, and uh, reportedly over 15 pounds, but you know, I've never seen one that big. So what I have here is I've already, you know, painted the base colors. This is the, the red tail catfish is pretty much done, but the dovii, I am painting scales. And so what I want to show today is how to create contour using the patterning of the scales. So in this case, the dovii has multiple spots on its back and it's like every scale has a little spot on it. So. I'm getting a little bit of black gouache here, and uh, I'm painting in these little spots. And then once I have these spots, if you notice, they're alternating. So we have two spots here, and then we have another spot in between, and then two spots. And so that allows us to get the scale pattern properly, properly uh, uh, duplicated here. So... This is called rendering, basically. This is when you put the detail in of a fish. So what I'm doing now is I, I've got the I've got the certain number of scale rows. I I've studied this fish. I painted it quite a bit, and so here before I put the dark back of the fish, I am uh, painting some of the pattern in the midsection here. I know how many rows of scales there are from the lateral line to the top to the dorsal area, and then I also know that there's going to be a certain number of scales rows on the bottom but I'm trying to give it contour so if you notice the pattern doesn't go straight across and this is a mistake a lot of people make when they're first painting fish is they make this pattern straight across straight across and so it looks like a flat fish but we know that the dovii has a big round body you know so um, it's, it's, it's a pretty thick fish overall so what I've done is I've, I've created a contour of the scales on the rows that I know are there and then once I have that done, I'll, I'll just uh, jump over to a, get a little bit of blue, a little bit of purple and black, and then mix it all up here so I have a dark. But I'm using a, a round brush, so I'll do this fine tip and create the contour of each scale. So these scales, they interlock, so you have them like in a diamond pattern across the body. So just at the edge of each spot is the scale edge. And this way I can create that depth of the scale. So I'm doing this, I have to do this uh, for every scale. And then once I come in and do the final rendering of each scale, there's gonna be a little dark and highlight. So I'll have to fix each scale one by one. So this is, it's an excruciating process but if you want to come up with a really good looking fish, then you're going to have to follow the rules of painting. At least the realism. You know, there's always abstract fish and there's always like uh, illustrative methods. But that's what I'm showing you today. So basically, I hope you learned something from this video. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel, The Scales Life. And hope to see you again next time.